Hi everyone. In this lecture, uh, we'll discuss about some problems, interesting problems on cascode amplifiers. So, uh, in this problem, what I've done is that I've connected the input to the gate of the cascode device. I'm calling this device as the cascode device, and I've grounded the input of the main device. So, if you see everywhere, I've grounded the input of the main device, and I've applied the input signal instead to the gate terminal of the final device. We'll call this as the cascode device okay only this now we are supposed to find what is the open circuit voltage when you open circuit is the voltage here what is the, the value of v naught in different cases here so we have already solved a problem of similar type so we, i'll just use a try to draw some parallel so what we can do is now if you uh, the, the first device i'm going to keep it as it is and the devices after that, so for, I'll take the example of the first, first example here. This device can simply be represented as a resistance of value or not. Okay, gate is grounded, source is grounded. So it will just be an equivalent resistance of value or not as seen by the cascode device. Okay. So, and similarly, in this case, I can just replace this whole set of two devices, it's a triple cascode. I can just replace the set of whole these two devices by a resistance of value R out, and that's going to be A times R naught. And similarly, in this example, I can replace this whole device because there is no input signal applied to any of these devices. So it will they will just behave like a uh, if you recall how we found the output resistance of a cascode structure, they were essentially uh, MOSFETs stacked in this manner with all their gates grounded and we found the resistance seen here okay so the similar way here i can just replace this circuit by an equivalent resistance of value r out in this case the value of r out is going to be a power n minus 2 times r naught because there are n minus 1 devices okay um, so at this terminal it is r naught this terminal it will be a square r naught uh, a r naught okay it's going to be a r naught here and so on by the time you reach this terminal, after n minus one devices, it's going to be a n minus two or not. Okay, so I'm going to call it as r not r out here. I've generalized it. I'm just generalizing the problems and calling it as r out. This is the final cascode device. Now we are supposed to find the maximum or the unloaded gain. So when the output is open circuit, what is the value of the voltage gain? That's what we are supposed to find. Now there are two procedures, we have methods of solving, one is an intuitive way and one is a standard procedure. The standard procedure, I will just find what is the short circuit transconductance GM and then I will multiply that by the output resistance which is measured by shorting the input. So R out dash, I am calling it as R out dash. Then the product of GM into R out dash will be the gain of the circuit. Now we know this is a source degenerated MOS amplifier. So the effective transconductance, the instant when you degenerate it, it's going to become GM by 1 plus GM or, or out. And the output resistance is going to be approximately R0 into 1 plus GM or out. It's going to get multiplied by this factor. So if you recall the lectures from source degenerated MOS amplifiers, you can see these results. So now the product of these two, there is a minus sign here, I'm sorry. The product of these two is simply minus GM or not. So it doesn't matter what you connect it's independent of the value of R out. So that's what this is telling us. So which means using that, we can say for all the three amplifier structures, the gain is simply R naught. So for minus GM R naught. It's minus GM R naught, minus GM R naught, and minus GM R naught. So all these devices are identical. It goes without saying. Okay. So how do we solve it intuitively? Now if you see intuitively, again, uh, I have discussed a similar problem. If you see this, intuitively now this entire device we said can be modeled as a resistance or not since we have open circuited the output node the current entering here is zero okay so now that current is same as the current that is going to enter the source terminal so if i have a device here so i'm going to connect some r out here the first example r out is equal to r naught okay so in the first example, R out is equal to R naught. Okay, that's what that's what the value of uh, R out is here. It's R naught. And this, if this current is zero, the current entering R out is also zero. Okay, so this current is also zero. So the voltage drop here is zero. So this node will come to AC ground. 
So the moment this node comes to AC ground, this behaves like a single stage common source amplifier whose intrinsic gain is minus GM or not. In a similar way, I can extend the same idea to the other amplifiers as well. Since the current here is zero, the current entering here is also zero, so this node will be at AC ground. So this will again behave like a single stage common source amplifier. Same way, this node, the, the source of the first device, the cascode device will be at AC ground. Okay, so the gain will again be minus GM or not. So it really doesn't matter what you connect beneath it. So that's all uh, this, this is implied. As long as you connect a large resistor which is finite, okay, the resistance should be finite. Okay, it can be large but it has to be finite. Then in that case we will get minus GM or not. If it is infinity then we saw what could be the possible gain. I mean you, I'll recommend you to go through the uh, lectures on uh, the source degenerated MOS amplifiers. Okay, so that is about the first problem. So in the second one, uh, again, if you see here, it's a similar cascode structure. Now we have taken n uh, n stage cascode. I'm applying input gradually like this. In the first first circuit, I'm applying input at the gate of the first device, which is this cascode device. In the second circuit, I'm applying the input at the second device from top. When you come from here. I'm going to apply input at the second device and so finally I'm going to apply input at the n minus one stage gate the gate of the n minus one stage of course I'm grounding the input here which is what this is the main device where we were initially supposed to apply the input but now I've applied input at bi so how do we go about solving this now this will completely use intuitions to solve it uh, we don't really uh, need to fully solve it so let's say the first one we have already solved in the previous example this entire circuit beneath it the stages are going to offer a resistance of value r out which is a power n minus 2 or not but since the current here is zero it's open circuit so this current is also zero so the voltage this node will be at ac ground so the first stage will offer a gain of minus gm or not in the second circuit shown here this resistance is r out and we know the current flowing here is zero so this node will come to ac ground okay because the current entering here is also same that so this current is zero the current entering here is also zero so this node will come to ac ground now it behaves like a two-stage cascode so now we have reduced this to a two-stage cascode so this node is at ac ground okay now the gain of a two-stage cascode is simply minus gm or not the whole square Right, So this node obviously won't be at AC ground because you have applied an input signal here because of which this node will be at some potential. You can, since this the first stage is at ground, we have already analyzed a cascode amplifier. Uh, so we can analyze a cascode amplifier in very interesting ways. So if I have a cascode amplifier, I have open circuited the drain terminal. So the looking in impedance here is infinity. So the first stage gain will simply be minus GM or not this has to be multiplied by the second stage gain which will be 1 plus gm or not okay so it will be minus gm or not the whole square so that's what i uh, said here so for this two stage amplifier two stage amplifier structure we'll get uh, we'll get a gain of minus gm or not the whole square so this entire thing reduces to just a two stage amplifier so similarly this node will be at ac ground because uh, the current flowing here is zero the same current flows here which is zero here and this has a finite resistance of value or not which will be at zero so now i can ignore this device and treat it like an n minus one stage cascode amplifier okay so the first stage gain will be minus gm or not and after that every other stage is a common gate amplifier whose gain will be one plus gm or not okay because we have open circuited the output that's the open circuit gain we are computing so that will be one plus gm or not since we have n minus 1 stages, the gain will be approximately be equal to minus gm or not the whole power n minus 1. So which is what I have uh, shown here. So the, this node here comes to AC ground. So the gain here is simply minus a gm or not. In this case, it's just a two-stage cascode amplifier. And we discussed this node comes to AC ground uh, because the current is 0. Okay. Um, and there is no signal here beneath this so I can ignore all these stages okay so only the stage after this device where I'm applying the input matters 
So here, this will again behave like an n n minus one stage cascode amplifier. So with a gain given by this, now, this is the first stage gain. The remaining n minus two common gate amplifiers, it will be just a multiplication of their unloaded gains because if you recall, the input impedance is infinity at every point. The drain is infinity, open circuit, so the input impedance seen here is infinity. For every stage, it's going to be infinity. So you can simply multiply their uh, intrinsic gains, um, unloaded gains, which is 1 plus gm or not for a common gate amplifier. So the overall for an n stage, n minus 1 stage cascade, it's going cascode, it's going to be minus gm or not whole power n minus 1. So that's the gain of this structure. The third problem is a slightly interesting one. It's more like a reverse gain of a am cascode amplifier. I'm going to apply input instead at the drain of the cascode amplifier and we are supposed to find what is the voltage at the first device, the drain of the first device, so which is this main device, okay, you're supposed to find the drain voltage here, so same, <coughs> so voltage is VI is applied here and we are supposed to find the V0 at the drain of the first device and similarly I've extended it for end stage cascode, you're, su <coughs> you're supposed to find the voltage at uh, the drain of the first device. Now to solve this problem, you have to see here that I am taking a MOS device and applying drain input at the drain and taking output at the source. So if you recall, this is like a reverse gain of a common gate amplifier. Okay, I have reversed and I am trying to find what will be the gain of a common gate amplifier. If you understood this structure, then we can this solve this problem very easily. So first, we'll uh, see the model that I've written here. So um, this is a common gate amplifier. I'm trying to find an equivalent model for a common gate amplifier to see what kind of an amplifier it is. I'm applying input at the drain and output is now taken at the source. I've just reversed the input and output terminals. Now to solve this, we can very easily solve this by, let me just solve it here. So. So if I connect an impedance of value R0 here and I'm applying a VI here, the looking in impedance here, I'm driving it with the voltage source here, the looking in impedance here is going to be 1 by GM. So directly I can use, if this is R0 and the voltage impedance here is 1 by GM, the potential division here, if I apply a potential divider at this node, so you have 1 by GM and R0 here. So this is VI and V0 is simply going to be equal to 1 by 1 plus gm or not times vi okay so it's a very interesting result if you see if i apply vi here i'm going to get one plus the output will be drain output will be 1 plus gm or not times vi so here it just gets divided okay and we said this you know amplification happens in either directions for only for a common gate configuration so since we have now we are now talking about uh, the reverse gain of a common gate amplifier, we'll see how does it behave. How does it does it look like a common gate? If you uh, see a common gate amplifier, I said the if you go for a two port model representation of a common gate amplifier, the best approximation for that is a current amplifier. Okay, the input impedance is low, output impedance is high. That's what we discussed. But now when we reverse the polarity, when we reverse the terminals. Okay, the voltage gain is uh, less, which is actually smaller. It's not supposed to amplify in the opposite direction, but but still, if it, that's why the gain is less. But what about the input and output resistances? So now, to measure the output resistance, I have to measure it at this node by grounding the input, which is drain. That's going to be approximately 1 by gm. 1 by gm parallel or not, so I'll take it as 1 by gm. The input resistance is going to be measured at the input terminal. So I'm going to find the input resistance seen at this point. Okay. So again, I have to, uh, this is, uh, I have to connect a finite load and find it, but we can say that the input resistance is always going to be really large. It's going to be dependent on what you connect here. Okay. But it will be at least or not. It's always going to be at least greater than R0, right? It's R0, it R0 plus 1 plus gm R0 times RS. So it's for a low value of RS, I can assume that uh, it gets approximately R0. But the important point here is that it's always at least R0, which is really, really high. So now this is the two port representation of a 
reverse gain of the, when you just convert the uh, common gate amplifier in reverse mode i am applying input at the drain and taking output at the inverse mode um, i am applying input at the drain and taking output at the source input resistance is r not output resistance is very low which is 1 by gm so it behaves very very good as a very good voltage amplifier okay so a common gate amplifier in the opposite direction which is where where which is how it should be operated behaves better as a approximates better as a current amplifier but in the opposite direction input resistance is high output resistance is low so it behaves better as a, a voltage amplifier okay so now even if i load it with some load resistance as long as the load resistance is greater than 1 by gm i can expect the gain to be just equal to 1 by 1 plus gm or not you know there isn't much of a loading effect so that's what i'm trying to say here okay because if your load resistance is greater than 1 by gm then you are going to get approximately a gain of 1 by 1 plus gm or not so r i can ignore the factor rl by rl plus r out okay if it is greater than r out i can ignore it much greater than r out i can ignore it so using that if you if we try to solve this problem it's pretty simple this node will is at an impedance of value or not now this guy can be seen as a common gate amplifier where i'm applying now input at the drain i'm now applying input at the drain terminal so since i'm applying input at the drain terminal to the output if you see the load resistance is r not which obviously is much greater than 1 by gm so i can the gain seen here is going to be 1 by 1 plus gm r not similarly i'll go for this guy here the output resistance the the load resistance seen here it's it's actually a cascaded load resistance which will be approximately a times or not so this guy will behave like a common gate amplifier with uh, and now the reverse gain of that is approximately 1 by 1 plus gm or not i can you will get the same voltage here because the load really doesn't have an effect it's much greater than 1 by gm so i can leave it there now i am now going to apply uh, stage by stage i'm going to solve this so now what will be the gain from this stage to this stage in that case again this resistance is r not which is still greater than 1 by gm so this will further multiply it by 1 by 1 plus gm or not so you will get a gain of 1 by gm or not the whole square so similarly if i apply it here i am traveling n minus 1 stages per stage i am going to get a gain of 1 by 1 plus gm or not so by the time i reach here at this output terminal i would have traversed n minus 1 devices so the gain at this point will be 1 by 1 plus gm or not whole power n minus 1 okay so that's what i've uh, shown here so you will get a gain of vi by 1 plus uh, gm or not the whole power n minus 1 okay so this is more like a reverse gain of a common gate cascade um, it's not truly the reverse gain of a ca common um, uh, uh, sorry the cascode amplifier because see if you recall i said if I have a common source amplifier if i apply input at the drain you the output at the gate is you know, is indeterminate we cannot find what it is okay so it's it you can treat it as zero because there is no gate current you can say it is zero if you have some terminated with the finite source resistance we can say it is zero and similarly we said the same thing for a common drain configuration if i apply input at the source you cannot expect any output at the gate you, let's say you terminate the gate with some finite load resistance i'm going to call it rl here i mean even here i can call it rl okay so the gate current is zero so the output voltage will be zero here so it doesn't really have any uh, amplification in the opposite direction but for a common gate configuration when you reverse the terminals we will have gain of amplification happening in the opposite direction as well so if i apply a voltage vi here i'm going to get vi by one plus gm or not okay in a cascode amplifier the first stage is a, ca a common source amplifier so even though you are you are getting a huge attenuation till this point which is 1 by 1 plus gm or not the whole power n minus 1 there is some uh, reverse gain the the the, the first stage or the main device the main device will offer no uh, no amplification at all i mean there will be complete rejection by this device at least for low frequencies so if i terminate it with some load resistance here i'm going to get zero 
okay but until the drain of the first device which is the cascode de the the main device you will have some reverse gain okay which will be vi by 1 plus gmr not whole power n minus 1 okay for an n stage cascode and that comes purely because of common gate amplifiers uh, amplifiers okay because the cascode is essentially all common gate stages except the first stage being a common source okay so all the common gate stages will give you a finite uh, reverse gain so which is why you get this reverse gain but the first stage will give you zero okay so uh, that's it about the problems on cascode amplifiers in the next class i'll discuss what happens when you load the cascode amplifier and we'll analyze it for different load conditions uh, for the voltage gain under different load conditions for a cascode amplifier